What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the NBA basically, the NBA Finals, uh, the awards and stuff like that. So let's get right into the video. Uh, let's talk about the NBA Finals first. First, uh, it's a very good, it's a good playoffs. Like, I, my opinion is probably a little bit better than last year. Nah, nah, it's not better than last year. Last year was... There were so many games. Not even, there was like probably not even that many sweeps last year. But anyways, who I think would win the finals? Hmm. Who would I think would win? I would say either the Spurs or the Celtics. Now, to me, I think the Celtics are going to be able to beat the Wizards and then beat the Cavs and make it to the finals. And the Spurs, uh, they're they're fighting out there. They're they're three and two against the Rockets, and I feel that they can beat the Warriors. They're easy peasy, and if they, I say about game seven, seven games to beat the Warriors and make it to the finals. Celtics and Spurs in the finals. And to me, I want the Celtics to win. You know, toothless Isaiah, toothless Isaiah. I want him to win, and I hope he gets finals in me. Now, let's talk about NBA awards. What I've been waiting for, what, I, what we all been waiting for. Yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be crazy. They announced the awards in June 23rd to 25th, and I just wanna give you guys my thoughts on it. First, MVP. Guys, my favorite team is Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh. Uh, then you should know who should get MVP. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. It should be uh, Russell Westbrook. Of course, Russell Westbrook. One of the best players. Uh, maybe one of the best players in the motherfucking league. <laughs> the best player in the league. My opinion. Everybody's opinion in Oklahoma. You already know. Next we have is the most improved. Now I have two to pick out of, but I'm gonna pick one. It's either Giannis that plays on the Bucks or Isaiah Thomas. And I pick Giannis. Yeah! Giannis last year, I mean he did good, but this year he's doing great. Leads his whole team in points, rebounds, assists, and blocks. I mean that's crazy. That's a that's, he made history, history this year, history. Next, we'll talk about the coach of the year. The coach of the year, my, I would say Scott Brooks. Thunder. Thunder. Coach of the year because last year the Wizards weren't even close to the playoffs. They didn't even make the playoffs last year. And they weren't even top five seed last year. Now this, now this year I'm the third seed. Like what? Okay, Scott, you've been teaching your team, Scott. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, next we have is defensive player of the year. Now I've heard a lot of people say Rudy Go Burt. Should be defensive player of the year, but I have to give it to Kawhi again. I have to. Kawhi again, that big play against the Rockets with that block on. That was a clutch, very clutch block against Harden off the backboard. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> He should get it again. Three times in a row, back to back to back. Next we have up is Ricky of the Year. Yeah, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, now the Ricky here should be Drogic Sarek, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he plays on the 76ers. Yes, the 70 mother freaking Sixers. He came from overseas, yeah, he came from overseas to come and play over here in America, America. 
And I feel that he can get it. I feel like he can just win. Look at it. He's been good, doing good. He has about 15 points a game, 10, something like that. Close to that, points a game. Uh, and yeah, and that does it for this video, guys. I want to say sorry for not uploading. I will try to upload Thursday and Friday for you guys. Make sure y'all tune in for that. Uh, we out. Salute.